When Abdurrahman Kahin opened his first Afro-Delian grill in 2010 in Minneapolis, Minnesota, he was focused on feeding the community around him. Now he has won a national award for what U.S. Small Business Administration leader Isabella Casillas Guzman called the best of American entrepreneurship. It's a huge honor uh, for me and also for the community and uh, the state of Minnesota. Uh, winning a national award is not, uh, it doesn't come uh, every day. Kahin was named the 2023 National Business Person of the Year at a ceremony on May 1st at the White House, where he had an opportunity to meet with U.S. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. The event spotlighted the impact small businesses make on the U.S. economy. For me, it's like a winning uh, Olympic, Olympic medal because uh, after, you know, after 12 years uh, and with a lot of, you know, tireless and sleepless nights, uh, finally I get something that I can cherish. I can show to my kids, I can show to my community. It's a, it's a huge honor. It's not, uh, you know, it's not like uh, for every, it's not like every day you win this kind of title. In a statement, Guzman said Kahin pursued the American dream of business ownership, overcoming challenges, launching multiple food businesses, pivoting during COVID and lifting local neighborhoods along the way. Kahin now owns four restaurants across the Minneapolis-St. Paul metropolitan area. Kahin immigrated to the U.S. in 1996. He says this recognition is a testament that hard work pays off and that immigrants contribute to the growth of U.S. economy. We just make sure that uh, we as a, uh, Somalis, people from uh, Africa in general, are hardworking people. Uh, we are an asset for, for this country and for the state of Minnesota. Uh, so we, we want to make sure that uh, uh, we are accepted and that we have uh, a lot to, to contribute to the state of Minnesota and, the, and, the, and this country. During the COVID pandemic, Kahin kept his kitchen open to help feed the older members of Somali community and their neighbors, along with other older and disabled Minnesotans who were unable to leave their home. Small Business Agency Administrator Guzman and Second Gentleman Doug M. Hoff are due to visit one of Kahin's restaurants. From Mahmoud Masaade in Minneapolis and Abdul Aziz Osman in Washington, Salim Solomon, VOA News.